Hello again, my name is Robert Anderson, and my goal for this recording is to help you have a good understanding of how to import your contacts. And because it's short and sweet, I'll also show you how to manually add a contact to the system. So this is a new Infusionsoft interface, and we'll be seeing a lot of different updates uh, in coming months, coming weeks. So bear with us and feel free to provide feedback in ways we can tailor this better to you as a software and, and really as training. So without further ado, uh, my goal is to take an existing list of contacts. Either you use Excel to manage your list, or you typically have another CRM and you export your contacts from that list. Either way, you'll be left with a CSV file, uh, CSV, uh, file which you can then import to Infusionsoft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click into Contacts right here on my, my dashboard on the left. and Click into Contacts, and you'll easily see this top right button, Import. So which CSV file will I use? You may have multiple, so just do one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and click and upload from my downloads. I think export four right here. And once that connects, you'll see a little check mark. And next, now organize. So I have different fields on my column. And actually, just to show you what my file looks like, what we're looking at, let me open that up for us to see. You can see first name, last name, phone one, email address, and then just their extended street address. As you can see, I use some fun sample contacts, but obviously you'd be uh, doing this different. I don't know why it says Katniss Everdeen, you know, uh, Hunger Games. She is not male, she is female, and save. So I didn't update that before I imported, but let's just go ahead and just take care of that. So now that I saw my file, I want to see, okay, first name on my Excel or CSV is that column in my CSV. What does that mean to Infusionsoft? And as you can see, some auto update by themselves, but some the system doesn't know right off the bat. So phone one on my CSV, what does that mean to Infusionsoft? What should it add that information to which field? And I'll go ahead and select phone one. Emails matched, street address one. You'll notice you have lots of different addresses. Um, you tend to see the first address be used as billing and the second address used as shipping. And in the system, you have a third address that's just additional or extra. In this case, because it's the primary address, I'm gonna go ahead and use it as billing. I think address city and postal code. Then job title from my file. Sometimes just a little bit of fishing around. and Some fields might not even exist yet, so we just have to bear with that. So I'll go to the very top. Do not import will be my option. I don't want to import that since I don't have a match yet. And gender, also, I'm just not going to import for now. And just so you're aware, we will be adding features to create custom fields upon import. Um, adding more fields like job title. We'll have full feature parity uh, with our current classic edition of the software. Now that I've matched fields though, I can continue and finish. Uh, something very important to consider, do you have permission to send marketing emails to these contacts? If this was a purchase list or a list that you haven't touched base with a while, you might wanna click no and do a few uh, call outreach event uh, attempts or a postcard or something like that to get them to opt in themselves. Um, another tactic people have done is they'll use their old system to send them in a last email asking them to opt into an Infusionsoft form per se. Either way, uh, let's say that you do have permission to send these marketing uh, emails to contacts. So yes. Okay, I'll just, we're just going to take your word for that and finish import. You'll see that we're reloading. It was five. It went quick. If you have thousands, you'll see this take a little longer, but that's really all it takes to import contacts. Select your Excel or CSV file. Match the fields from your Excel to Infusionsoft's data fields. And then just make sure you have permission to market to them. Alrighty. The last thing I want to show you is, okay, see this other blue button next to import is manually adding a contact. This is really handy if you're on the field, uh, something like a realtor where they might meet someone on the fly or on social media. They don't need them to opt in. They just need to add them to their contact and follow up. So let's just say Bugs Bunny, right? Just pick another fake person, bugs at looneytunes.com, phone. Very creative with my phone numbers, and he has a 
mobile phone. That's fine. Save. Oop. Looks like it knows I'm making up a number, so I'll use an Arizona area code. Oh, I, I'm missing a digit. That's the real problem. And save. All right, and that's really all you need to know for adding contacts into in the new Infusionsoft interface. Thank you.